Hello everyone! Today I'm using my geode round um, tray mold and um, it's 25 um, centimeter in diameter and I'm using again these stone hearts because yesterday evening when I did the unmolding of the um, pink fluffy um, coasters I thought hmm what about using them in a tray and I I know it looks a little bit like a clubber blood but um, I don't want to go in green I just want to go in yellow very simple and yeah um, I also want to have some some um, how are they called? They are from Colorberry. Ah, first of all, my resin is the normal Art Pro from Resin Pro. And my mold and the inlayers are from Mold and Shapes. Very, very good quality. Um, the Here, these lines, I want to do in the Chrome dri Drizzle from Colorberry. So this is what I'm going to do first. I mixed a bit of them with some resin. So I guess I will just go with a stick. Go, go like this. Because like this I have a little bit more control. Like I said, I want to go in yellow colors and depending on how high I'm going to get, I'm also making a top layer, whether it's heat resistant or um, food safe, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, let's just do it. This was not meant to go on to the top, but I will clean this up. Just let me get these down here. Doesn't matter if they get mixed a little bit into the sides. Oh, there's a phone going. Please don't be disturbed. So. So, I clean this up so it's not disturbing me. I like this golden drizzle a lot. So, hang on. Oh, so the last bit. And now let me go with the rest of the clear I have in my big cup because I used all my clear already in, in little um, cups. I will tell you about this in a bit. And let me just hang on, go from up high around. I didn't let my resin sit a long time. It's maybe after uh, mixing, it's now 15 minutes, so just want to have or get to the edge of the druzy in layer about the stone heart in layer. So. that so this is sorted um, I'm not gonna use the heat gun yet I am going to mix here's 40 grams of resin 
and in here 60 grams of resin. I'm gonna mix some of this nice yellow color. It's called School Bus. It's from Petra Jungblut. I'm gonna mix this into my 40 grams. It's a nice yellow color. And I'm gonna go like this. actually received these yesterday. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> I think yellow is a really, really nice color. Soon will be spring, so yeah, why not? Look at this. Nice, shiny, very, I like it. And in my other cup, I'm gonna use the white sparkle, just with the clear. Mm, not too, too much. This will be fine. So this is what I'm gonna Mix for now those two. Yeah, this is enough. Look how sparkly this is. This is really awesome. Don't know if this is actually a mica. I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> I need to ask Petra about this. <laughs> anyway, let me put this aside. I want to go around. Like so, like I said, it's 40 grams of resin with some mica of the um, school bus yellow. Wow, what a bright yellow. I like it. Very, very beautiful color. So. Let me just get the rest out of it, so I'm not going to waste anything. Love it. Really, really love it. And let me use some of this sparkle white. I don't want to use all of it. Just a little bit to go around my yellow so it can blend. Just like so. And this I'm gonna leave for me now. Um, let me get my torch so I can pop some bubbles. Hang on a second. These may spread anyway when I'm now starting to mix my um, alcohol ink because I'm gonna go with the what is it called? 
Lemon from Marabou. So I put a good squirt in there because it's a very, very light color. And I want a little bit more color, not too light. I think this will be all right. Look at this. Yeah. Let me put this here. And let's put some in the center. I know this, um, these flakes will go its own way. <laughs> I'm sure about this. But yeah, I'm hoping for some nice effects. It's my lemon and again the sparkle colors are wonderful really really like them and i really hope i mix enough so i have my surface completely covered so i can later on really add only a thin top layer so far i really like it had the idea last night when i yeah when i was unmolding my my um, pink ones Again, the lemon. I think it's all touching up. And the rest of my sparkle. And then I'm gonna see if I still have some of the clear left in my Maybe I get the rest of the sparkle out. Because, like I said, I don't want to waste it. And see what I've got left of my lemon. Just to put this into the center. So, yeah, and I see everything is covered. So, see what clear I can still get out of here. So, I can put this right into my center. Hope I'm not dribbling. <laughs> like so um i'm gonna use the heat gun again just to pop some bubbles And to push a little bit of the um, yellow, I hope. My um, resin for because I want to to add some um, yeah some pigment paste. Um, this still needs to sit 
for around about half an hour. This is these 20 grams I have here. And I'm just gonna go with the white. I want to um, get the shape of the hearts, you know, the outside shape. And I'm gonna go, this is 20 grams of resin. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four drops of the casting craft. You saw they are quite big drops, it's rather liquid. And I'm gonna put or add two drops of the pinata blanco blanco. It's almost empty by the way. But I ordered some new alcohol inks, some colors which I don't have, so <laughs> I can make some patterns. So I'm gonna mix this and I let this sit a little bit before I, I make a pattern. So I'm really curious how this is gonna look like. So far I really like it. Something different, I think. So I let this sit like I said. Um, I clear this all up a little bit and I'm gonna be back in yeah half an hour so I can pipe if you don't mind, I'm not gonna do anything. I just put this into the piping bag in before I start the video again, and then I'm gonna pipe my petal. Okay, I love and leave you for now. <laughs> See you then. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So, Put my resin into my piping bag and again, even two holes. <laughs> yeah, soon I will have new piping bags. Um, let me just cut a hole in there. And let's get piping. Um, yeah, I also need to see that I cover these holes which are in the piping bag. And Put this proper into my hand so I'm not dribbling and I just want to follow the heart shape. I'm never too good in piping to be honest but I hope to achieve a nice effect. And a little bit over it again. And maybe also just here. And that's it. And let me put this up. Also here. And push this a little bit.
and that's it. I hope this will be fine here, but um, hang on. What I also want to do is taking a little stick and swirl just in the center, just like so. And then a little bit more like this, so they are not too static. Like that. And I hope these are gonna bloom. I just connect these a little bit also here. Yeah. And like so. I'm going to take it down for a close-up and we will see what will happen here. <laughs> I hope to have some nice effects. Um, on. So, I love the center, how it's going to be, look. I think this is looking very, very nice. And yeah, I'm hoping that my white will be blooming to get some nice effects into my yellow. Okay, love and leave you for now. And we see each other tomorrow for the unmolding because when I do a top layer, I don't want this um, plate to be too thick. I will just do it um, with not in the mode, just yeah, freely because um, there will be a tiny lip and I can fill my top layer up to the lip. So it's a very thin top layer. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello everybody, I'm back. So let's have a look. Um, I will add the food resistant or food safe, not resistant, <laughs> food safe layer later. I, I want to unmold this first. Still a little bit bendy. And then later, but I, I don't need to film this, I can um, Add this food safe layer on top because I will have a little lip. Don't know if you can see it because I didn't fill my mold really up. So it's a quite thin tray, which I really like. Yeah, look how easy this goes off. This is beautiful. Um, let me just straighten this a little bit. It's really still soft, but it's not um, 24 hours yet. Um, yeah, let's get the baby out. Um, yeah, I, I leave my mold here. I think it might be better for my background. Um, this is the back side. I have a tiny, easy bit of overflow here with this one, but for the rest it's really rather okay, which I'm really, really happy about. Now I just need to get the start to get my in layer out. <laughs> so, yeah, let me have a look. I have a two stick here. It's not always easy to get the first step 
once you have it like here then it's easy to take it out and yeah look at this stony crystal effect um, try to get my second heart out that's that one and the next one like so and the last one like i said once you are getting the grip on it it's easy to pull them out so okie dokie um hang on i need to let one of the cats out i will be back in a sec yeah wow Sorry for the phone, it's the phone of my boyfriend, but he's not at home. This is the back side. I think it's very beautiful. But for me, the top side is what's really counting. And look at this. This is a beautiful plate, I think. I really like it really really very much like it i like the yellow it's a beautiful yellow and well i was thinking that it might have been a bit too much of the drizzle but now that's out of the mold i think it's not so so bad but next time i'm doing something like this it might be it could be a little bit less <laughs> anyway um let me take you down for a close-up and then I take some nice pictures. Okie dokie, hang on a sec. Do I still have you? Yes, I have you. <laughs> so, look how beautiful um, the yellow was acting. I really like this. Also how the white pigment paste catched up a little bit of the yellow. There's my drizzle. And look at the beautiful crystal effect. Really, really like this a lot. It's looking like a lemon, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, dog. Um, lovely leaf you. And I pop some pictures at the end of the video. Okay, see you then. Bye bye.